This video is about the power steering pipework on a Mark II Ford Focus. Now this is where the pot fault develops, it's where that black pipe goes into the power steering pump and I'll show you it from the top angle. It's held on by a bracket and a bolt. I spoke to the parts department at Ford and they said it's always the hydraulic pipework it goes, it's never the pump and they've sold uh, many hydraulic kits. Now this is a new pipework and when I bought this I made a fundamental mistake. You can see the nut there on the end. I'll just pause that there. That, uh, <coughs> I, I put that together. You do not do that. You put that nut into the pump then you push the pipework into that nut which is within the pump. So don't do what I do. It was a right pain to get this thing tight. But uh, don't assemble the nut onto the end of the pipework or you'll be real stuck like I was. Now I'm going to show you how the pipe's rooted uh, into the bodywork. So go underneath here, the first connection uh, along this chassis, I don't know, the bodywork, is it's a 13mm bolt, it goes into there where my finger is. And then you move along to the next connection, and this is just, if I remember, this was just an 8mm bolt, it was a bit rusty here. And we come to the back, it's held on by, I think that was a T20 Torx or a T25 Torx, it was okay, and then I think that was a 10mm bolt that held the union into the steering rack, that was okay. Now, here is the new pipework fitted at the pump. Now, as I said, don't do what I've done, don't assemble it, but put the nut in first of all, that's an 18mm uh, head nut, then push the pipework in, uh, and then I put that wee 10mm bolt in at the top. In fact, when you're taking the old one off, snap the pipework, then use an 18mm socket to release it because you're never going to use that old pipework again. So I hope that helps someone. Also, I changed the auxiliary drive belts and I'm going to show you how to get that on without using any special tools. Now, what you do is you slacken off the alternator. You take the two top bolts out the alternator, the long bolts, and you slacken the 15mm swivel bolt at the base of the alternator. Root the belt round the crankshaft, the water pump, the power steering pump and the alternator. It will be tight but you can manipulate it on. And then what you then have to do is get a pry bar and wedge it between the, the, the wing side and the alternator and push it back the way. Now it's better to be a two man job. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't video it at the time. But you, you, you get the pry bar in there and you wedge it and it can push it all the way back to the, the holes line up. Then you can slip your bolts in and tighten up. And it will work because these are stretchy belts. They're designed to be stretch. So that was the way. If I hadn't done it this way, I'd had to go and buy the special tools to get them on. And they were about £40. So this is a, a quick and cheap method to get your drive belt on. So I hope that helps someone. Thanks for watching. Cheers. There is a... A list of the parts numbers with the the price. Sorry, it's a wee bit fuzzy. It was in too close, but that's the hoses and the 18 mil bolt. As you can see, it came at 89 pounds UK. Cheers.